Hi, it's Doug the Bee Guy. And I was going to show you how to catch a swarm with a bucket today, but uh, they fell out of the tree, so I'm going to show you how to get it when it's on the ground, which is pretty easy. Anybody can do that. Um, we had a swarm take off out of the left side of this double nucleus today. I knew it was getting close, but uh, we've had eight days of rain and cold and windy weather, and so there wasn't really anything I could do. So the bees, I'm lucky I have these really tall pine trees in my that protect my bee yard, and they always tend to go up in here, and they were about, I would say, 35 feet up into that tree right there. So I thought, well, I would show you how to get a bucket on a stick and get it swarm out of a tree safely. It's about the only way that I do it. And then I went in for lunch and I came back out and I was like, wow, the swarm is gone. And I almost gave up. And I decided to look for another five minutes and they had fallen directly down onto the ground. And they were in a huge pile, about almost three feet in diameter there. And uh, so I took the bucket and the frame that I had brought to put on my stick, which had a little bit of uh, oil on it, some lemongrass oil, and I put it down there and I went to get my camera and look, they're almost already all in there. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. So they kind of fell right down uh, in this area right here. It was a huge, huge thing and I just set the uh, I set that bucket with that, uh, it was a nice uh, frame of uh, comb from a honey super that was uh, extracted last year and cleaned nicely. And it was a beautiful comb. And I put a little lemongrass oil in the bucket in there and as soon as I set that thing down, they went right to it because I think they were shocked from falling. They got startled, and they didn't know exactly what was going on. So uh, all I'm going to do is take that frame and put it in this box, and then move this box over to where the bucket is and try to get them to walk into this, into this uh, hive here. There are a lot of bees in this swarm. This thing probably weighs several pounds. I'm just gonna turn this over there. Move this hive there. There's the entrance right there. So they can get to it. Got a stick here. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna try not to disturb the bees too much hopefully the queen is on that frame there's no guarantees but I do have a cover and another cover and so I can close them off and hopefully they'll start walking in there. Sorry for the dappled light. I don't know if this is showing up on this camera or not. The other thing we can do is take the bees and dump them out of that bucket right there so that they start going in that entrance. They'll start marching. Looks like they're already doing it. There's quite a few bees in there. I'm just gonna shake them out gently. Like I said, this swarm just came out this morning. It's only been a few hours, so they haven't had time to figure anything out or anything. So I threw that away. 
or not threw it away, but I put them down there and uh, see it looks like they're walking in so that's a good sign get my marker that fell out earlier I reached to pick up that frame earlier without gloves on and I got stung because I think they were startled by falling and they just were they weren't real happy all right, let's uh, see if I can get a better angle on this now that we got the box down here. I'm gonna move the camera. So there they are. And they're going in to that box and there's a little hole in the bottom. And uh, so they should be okay in that box. I'll move them this evening once they're all in there to a different spot up on a hive stand out in the sun so that they're a little happier this is a very wet spot underneath all the pine trees which I don't think they would really like to stay here for long term but since I have that uh, I have four nice combs in there that one with the lemongrass, I think they're going to go in there, and it looks like the queen's already in there because they're all marching that way. So, And we do have some inclement weather coming in the next two days, so hopefully they'll stay in there and they won't try to go out in the wild and uh, survive. Interesting to see. Here's a close-up of the swarm. You can see they already have pollen. They have everything. They have all kinds of bees, drones, foragers. And they are ready to start this thing up. And they are going inside there. And I have a feeling that they're going to be in there pretty quickly. This is uh, one side of a double nucleus. I put four frames of comb in there. And one of them I put a little lemongrass oil on. That was the one I had in the bucket. And uh, as soon as I put the bucket down, they went right to it. I could hear them start fanning and I could see them running. I wish I would have had my camera, but I just wanted to put something down quickly so that they didn't start flying again and re uh, reestablish somewhere where I couldn't get to them. So I decided not to go run for my camera, which is all the way back at the house, quite a ways from where this bee yard is. Well, they've really started to march now. So I think the fanning has ensued and they are really moving toward this box they're uh, not all going in they're kind of clustering on the outside so hopefully they will go in and uh, they won't decide to uh, elite again in flight and take off I have not seen the queen. I'm hoping that she was on that frame that I put inside. I've been kind of watching for her. But I haven't seen any signs of her. I've just seen lots of bees with pollen. Pollen baskets full. And lots of healthy bees that are moving toward the toward the box here. Going in quite nicely. I'm going to call this one a success and move on to some other work that I have to do and We'll check back later and see what they look like.
Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.